In a world where new action movies come out every month, some old classics still manage to impress. Even though they were made years ago, these films continue to entertain and excite viewers today. Here are 10 old action movies that still hold up in 2024. The Raid Redemption Gareth Evans's gem starts with a bang and never lets up. Rama, our unstoppable officer, storms a grimy Jakarta apartment building controlled by a ruthless drug lord. Room by room, floor by floor, Rama brawls, grapples, and slices through foes. You might think you've seen action, but this is next-level madness. Iron Monkey You've heard of Robin Hood, but what about China's physician-cum-vigilante, Iron Monkey? By day, treating the poor. By night, robbing corrupt officials. A real dilemma arises when a wandering martial artist and his son are coerced by officials to capture this elusive hero. Ongbak, the Thai warrior. Ting, a serene village lad from Thailand, finds himself in the heart of chaotic Bangkok. Why? A scoundrel's pilfered his village's sacred Buddha statue's head. Employing Muay Thai in its rawest form, Ting punches, elbows, and knees his way through the city's underbelly. Chocolate. Zen, an autistic girl, possesses a unique gift. She mimics martial arts moves flawlessly, thanks to watching The Fighters Next Door and good old Bruce Lee films. The debts her sick mother is owed become her mission, and in the process, thugs and gangsters find themselves outclassed by this unexpected prodigy. Man from Nowhere. Imagine a reclusive pawn shop keeper whose only connection to the world is a cheeky little neighbor girl. Twist. She's kidnapped by drug peddling gangsters. Cue a transformation from the silent brooder to a blade wielding Avenger. The South Korean underworld is about to discover they messed with the wrong man's friend. Marantau. Yuda from Sumatra embarks on his Marantau a traditional rite of passage. Destination, Jakarta, dream. Teach Salat, a traditional martial art. But urban jungles have their own rules. He rescues a brother-sister duo from human traffickers. And suddenly, Serene Silat meets urban aggression. Thir 13 assassins. The setting is feudal Japan. The villain? An unspeakably cruel lord destined for higher power. Solution? A seasoned samurai assembles 12 warriors for a suicide mission, assassination. The climax? A heart-stopping, village-transforming 45-minute battle royale. The night comes for us. Once part of the triad's elite enforcers, Ido's life takes a 180 when he spares a young girl. Enemies sprout overnight, every assassin aiming for his head. The result? Rooms painted red with visceral violence. With bone-crunching, blade-slashing fury, allegiances are tested. Kung Fu Hustle Step into 1940s, Shanghai's Pigsty Alley, a slum under the absurd rule of an obnoxious landlady and her henpecked husband. Add a wannabe gangster Sing, trying to impress the notorious Axe Gang. Now mix in unsuspecting slum dwellers who turn out to be Kung Fu legends in hiding. Epic battles ensue. Cooley versus musicians, Taylor versus assassins, landlady versus pretty much everyone. An uproarious fusion of comedy and combat. It's silly, it's serious, it's Stephen Chow at his finest. Lady Snowblood. Born in a prison, raised for a single purpose, vengeance. Yuki, our Lady Snowblood, is the embodiment of cold fury, cutting down those who wronged her family. Set in Meiji-era Japan, her blade gleams with both beauty and brutality. From snowy landscapes to opulent mansions, blood is spilled, secrets are unveiled. 